welcome to the MBS show, episode 215. I'm your host, Norman Santo. Joining me today is Lurker Cat. Hello, guys. I'm back again. Hello there, Lurker. How are you? I'm all right. How about yourself, Norman? Oh, as you can clearly tell or listen to my voice, I'm not doing too well. It's like, no, not at all. Yep. But hey, like they always say, the show must go on. Yep, that steam train gonna be going on all the time with you. Four years running. Indeed. Ain't nothing stopping. Yep, but at least I have a deep, sexy voice, I think. <laughs> Let us know in the comments if you approve of Norman's ill voice. No, no, I clean. <laughs> <laughs> Leave us in the comments if you approve of that one. Tell us which one, deep voice or Consuela. Oh, no, no. <laughs> uh, but yeah... Um, having this, I think, cough really kills my voice, and it's what, been almost a month I have it now? Yeah, you've had it for a fair while. Yes, like, I think I did it for the past few review shows, and wow, I, poof, that's not fun. No, I've not known anyone to have a cold or a cough that long, so like, usually they've shifted it by now. Yeah, I think it has something Working to do with, yeah, it has something to do with being close to a friend who is sick and not well, and family sick, so it's like, yeah, I, uh, I'm around people who are sick, so yeah, yeah. That makes way more sense. I thought it was just a case of your immune system just going, no, Norman, you can just have this now. Here, have a sexy voice in exchange. No, no. <laughs> wow, so voice is crapping out on me. So I have this deep voice. Well, well, that's it decided now. You're not allowed to be Consuela. You just have to go with the deep, sexy voice for the whole review. No. <laughs> Uh, no, I don't want to. Uh, so how have you been doing? Well, how was your day? Ah, uh, my day was alright. I paid my ice cream debt that I owed a six-year-old, so <laughs> that was good. Yay? Because apparently you can't make bets when ice cream is involved, because then fate will decide to go against you and actually make the six-year-old win in its ice cream's favour. Oh, yeah. I, I did that bet with my mum, too, and I owe her ice cream now, so yeah... Yeah, see, I told you, don't buy ice cream. Ice cream is your kryptonite. It will ruin you. It ruins me. Yeah, we'll have to see. I still haven't paid the debt yet because mum's not free. So, yeah, ice cream. Uh, as for me, uh, wow. Believe it or not, I've been really busy. I usually don't go out on Saturdays because, well, it's just I tend to kind of stay home and get ready for the show. But since a friend of mine said that he's free today and he wanted to go watch a movie. So yeah, it's movie time. Woohoo! Hey, you managed to get outside into the real world. What are the graphics like? Oh, it's really HD. It was streaming at 4K and whatnot. The graphics was <gasps> awesome. The sound system was, well, surround sound. But the problem is the AI was not good. Oh. Uh, uh, there's always something, I suppose. Yeah, it? yeah. It was a really terrible AI. But other than that, I did manage to watch a movie today. It's like, what did you go see? Uh, X-Men Apocalypse. Ooh. And I would say, it's not bad. It's a really good, um, I won't say Marvel, but if you've seen the past two newer X-Men shows, like um, First Class and Days of Future Past, I would say go watch this one. It's worth the watch. It's like, I will have to go and try and see it. You said that there were... Like, reoccurring characters that were from the first few films that are now in this one? The way that they tried to repair the damage that was done by X3 was to, well, reboot it, but in a creative way. So, when they did X-Men First Class, that was kind of in the past, and Days of Future Past involves the old X-Men. Remember the X3 I was talking about? Mm -hmm. They somehow yeah. involved that one and the first class one in this one with time traveling shenanigans. And let's just say this. After that movie ended, it rebooted the whole series. Jeez. Which was pretty good. I think they really needed that to save the X-Men franchise. It's like I had no idea it was in trouble. I personally liked the third one. Oh. Like I'm like the only one. Here comes the hate. Here comes the hate. Yeah, I think you're the only one. Yes, probably the only one. Yeah. But yeah, if you do go watch this one, Apocalypse, 
I would say go watch it because it's a fun show. It, it was a fun movie to watch. And talking about X-Men, you remember that X-Men Wolverine Origins? Oh, no, there's one I didn't like. Yeah, I seen that one and I was truly disappointed. Oh my gosh, like everyone was disappointed. Yeah. Like, even people like me who didn't know what was going on because I haven't read the comics and I'm just like, what on earth is going on and who is this guy and just what, what? I remembered Gambit though from the cartoons and I'm just like, eh! Yeah, Gambit's cool. Yeah, Gambit's cool. Need more Gambit. Yeah, but you remember Sabretooth? Oh, yeah. Yeah. Awesome. Well, Sabretooth in the comic and cartoons were awesome, but in the X-Men Origins movie? Nah, nah. <laughs> no, it's okay. He go clean now. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> but funny thing about this guy, um, the actor who played Sabretooth, uh, Levi... Sheriber? Was it? Levi Sheriber. Pronounced, uh, Levi. Lev Schreiber. Lev I think. Schreiber. Something like that. I, I don't really know. But anyway, um, the actor himself, he's going to play a role in the My Little Pony movie, the 2017 movie. So. Yay! Okay. This is interesting. You're a really, really hardcore pony. Yeah. With th- mutton chops. Yeah. Th- this is going to be a very interesting pick. Like, Okay, why don't you add Morgan Freeman in? Oh, that would be amazing. I would totally watch it. I mean, I was going to watch it anyway, but if they had Morgan Freeman in there, yeah, then, yeah, you know, yeah. sold. Yeah, it's like, okay, this is going to be interesting. And <laughs> something out of the blue related to Marvel. Uh, Ty Diggs. Ty A. Diggs. Um, he played Black Panther in... The, what you call this? The superhero squad show is a kind of a chibi version of the Marvel superheroes. He oh. played Black Panther and he's going to be in it too. Oh, okay. Yeah, so that's going to be interesting. Yeah, that's going to be quite interesting. I want, I really want to, the more you talk about the movie, it's like, oh man, what are they actually going to do for this film? They better make something epic other than just, here's a bunch of ponies with a bunch of celebrity voices. Yeah. Boom, enjoy. I, I want them to do something meaningful because adding celebrities in your movie, I do understand it sells tickets, but... There needs to be a reason. I mean, you can't just add celebrities for no reason other than grab value because that'll just... You know, it's bad for everyone all around unless you've got a proper meaning. Yeah. A good plot or interesting villains or maybe some backstory... Star Swirl the Bearded, <laughs> oh, Discord, yeah. or the Sirens, or the Wendigos. Yeah. Someone explain it, yeah, please. You're still on Star Swirl, aren't you? Yeah, I'm still on Star Swirl. Yeah, but talking about Star Swirl and Discord and whatnot, like, did you know that uh, last week's episode, or technically two weeks ago, the, what would you call it, Heart Swarming Tale episode, was... Kind of real, not so much like it's a story, but it has something to do with the past. It's like, yeah, it's talking about how, the meaning of Heartwarming Tale and how it's important to keep celebrating Heartwarming Tale because, I mean, it's keeping the Wendigos at bay, but everyone seems to have forgotten that with the commercialism. But then they need a little story like that to remind them, like, oh, yeah, there is a legit reason for it. <laughs> yeah, that is true also. But um, apparently, if you do know. Um, what you call this? Um, the what? Well, the Christmas the Carol. The Christmas Carol. The char- The tale by Charles Dickens, which has been done to death over and over and over and over again. Yeah, if you do know that story, originally Discord was going to play Marley. I would have loved to have seen Discord as Marley because that just seems like the perfect role for him. Yeah. Did they show Marley in this one? I don't remember. Nope. They just completely missed Marley out. Oh, yeah. They had the three spirits and they had um, Scrooge and McSnowflake just like, yo, 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 I don't want this holiday anymore. And then everyone popping up everywhere. Luna's just the best. I liked her. Luna was awesome, but not having Marley in there was really confusing. Yeah, it was really confusing for people, I suppose, that don't know the story. But if you're like us that have seen it over and over and over and over and over again, you're just like, yeah, I know exactly how this episode's going to go. I'm okay. Yeah, but it was still fun to see how the characters interpreted it and played it out. And I did like the songs. The songs were really good, especially Luna's song. Luna's song's best song. Oh yeah, but the Pinkie Pie song was awesome too. Yeah, 
was okay. But you know how I feel about Pinkie mm. Pie. Yeah, true. I have the same feeling, but a song is a song. <laughs> But, yo, Discord, going to play Marley, that was kind of cool. So, according to Mike Vogel, the writer for this episode, and formerly Hasbro's VP of development, said that... He said a bunch of stuff. Yeah, and those stuffs were in original outline. Discord was Marley, but there just wasn't enough time. So, this could have been when, well, recording time with... um. The Lancy, they didn't have time to do that, so they had to cut it out. Which is a shame, because I think that would have helped the episode, but it might have taken more time. The whole episode did feel like the story was really condensed, because, I mean, this story is usually told over an hour and a bit, and it was condensed into 20 minutes. Mm -hmm. That's a lot to squish in there. Yep. So a lot was taken out and lost, and I think in some areas it benefited, and in others it just sort of went, eh. Yeah. But I still think it was a good episode in general. Eh. Yeah, it was it was serviceable. We had a lot of songs which moved the plot along, which was really nice. Yeah, but still, fun fact, we knew this was kind of cool, so that's good. It's like, yeah, just maybe at some point someone could make a little animation of Discord being Marley. Nah, it'll spoil the whole thing. But other than that... No, it won't! It'll be the best thing ever! Just Discord. Eh, probably, probably. But as you can tell by how we're rambling on, it's a very short episode this week. Sorry, folks. There is no news. Nothing has happened. Uh, Nothing to say here. Kind of. Nothing much, really. I mean, there's the whole WWE camp, that cartoon series from WWE, giving a shout-out to BronyCon. Yay! Free advertisement from Sweaty Man. Woo! Cartoon. Toon, sweaty man to be exact. It's still sweaty man, it still counts. <laughs> uh, well, uh, Camp WWE is um, not really adults, but kids' version of the wrestlers. So it's pretty interesting, but eh, I, I haven't seen it yet. Might want to one day if I have the focus. And I'm not distracted. I'm behind in a lot of cartoons. Yeah, true, true. I don't know what the kids are watching these days. I mean, I've lost track of Steven Universe as well. Oh, you got to watch Steven Universe. Steven Universe is awesome. I got to about the beginning of season two, and then it's just like, eh, and then it's something else. Shiny. Tinfoil probably distracted me. <laughs> and here I am! Oh, <laughs> well, yeah. Well, true that. I, I have so many shiny things on show. Yes. And you leave food out. Oh, yes. Food. I always take pictures of food on the Instagram, and people watch it. Especially me. Yes. But anyway, short episode this week. Sorry, guys. Like, I would want to record more, but no guests, no voice, no news. We could blabber on. Oh, yeah, true. That. I could blabber on about stuff, but they'll be wasting your time. Yeah. And I really need to rest this voice. Yeah, so you can become normal Norman voice again. Yes. Hi, pitch squeaky. This is deep. <laughs> Deep, raspy, and injured. Oh, yes. Yes, yes. No. <laughs> but anyway, um, with that, if you guys have any questions, concerns, or suggestions for the show, you can contact us at mbsshow.gmail.com. You can also reach us on the Twitters. The show's Twitter account is at mbsshow. CityBot will retweet this episode, tweet about it, and also interact with you if you talk to her. As for me, you can follow me at Roman Sanzo. I tweet about toys, food, and whatever tickles my fancy. And always tickling my fancy is food. But right now, really, I want to get well. This voice is not cool. Uh, Lurk, where can the people find you? You can find me at lurkercat.deviantart.com or Highland Bronies in Facebook. Which should, should be facebook.com forward slash Highland Bronies. Alrighty then. And also, please subscribe and rate us on iTunes, YouTube, and Stitcher Radio. And also like our Facebook page. You can catch us on PonyRiverLive.com. Links are in the show notes. Anyway, I have been Norman Sanzo. I have been Lurker Cat. And we'll guys catch you next week for another amazing episode of the MBS show. See you guys later. Bye-bye. No, no. 
I go clean. No, it's, you're gone now. You're clean. Yes. <laughs> yes, I go clean now. And then you you deliver steaks to other cat and blah 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 blah. Okay. Bye bye now. Bye bye, bye, -bye now. Yes. <laughs> But they say that, uh, let me see, MK Toon, I think he's the director, well, Twitter, Twitter says MK Toon. Uh, what did you say? Uh, blah, 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 blah. uh who is the, uh, uh, give me a second, who's MK Toon, by the way, I'm trying to remember. If you're asking stalling, the wrong stalling, cat. Stalling, <laughs> stalling, 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 you can edit this up, stalling, stalling. Yep, that is true. Uh, MK Toon, who is MK Toon? I haven't a clue. <coughs> Give I don't pay that much attention uh, to directors and writers and stuff. Oh, yeah, okay, uh, MK Toon. Okay, I do remember him now, but I want to know his name. What was his name? It's human name. Yeah, the human name. Human. Humans! Human. They have names and the ages and the stuffs. Yes, Human, human are scary. They are. They smell funny too. Mm. That is also true. Uh, I wonder if I can use this as bloopers. That'd be funny. <laughs> so many bloopers. You're like, we need to record something. <laughs> yeah, okay, I got it. I got it. Okay. Okay, so, okay, okay. Three, two.